Yo, I guess we're up now. Great. Excellent. Sorry, we're 11 minutes behind schedule as pretty much usual for um, my streams. Although the team is getting pretty, uh, pretty good at getting up on time. Like they've been keeping the entire thing going while I've been away, but now I'm back. I'm uh, down a project now and I'm not taking on any others other than a passion project that I'm currently trying to Sorry, this this camera whole situation is brand new. I'm adjusting to all of the things. I used to keep my camera in my crotch area for like um convenience while I was working cuz you couldn't see all the way down there, but we're going to have to work on this camera setup here. There's like probably one or two people who are just like, no, <laughs> keep the thing in your, there's some weird people out there. Huh? Project assistant. I want to start up an OKKO project. The proper buses, because I will hand these back to Robbie so he can mix them one final time before they go up. The DX versions. Guys, welcome. Um, I do things kind of out of order, as you'll notice, and um, this is no exception. I'm setting up the project before telling you what you are watching. Some of you people who are just like tuning in like, oh, I just started following this guy. I haven't seen him stream in a minute. I don't talk about mint potion stuff enough. So you, some of you watching right now uh, who have tuned in, even if it's like four of you, I, I haven't even checked in on Twitch yet. I do things out of order again. Um, I'm a bit disjointed. All right. None of those wave files are things I need. Momentico. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we got a thing up. All right. I got Cubase running. That's one of two things I'm going to have to run right now. At least live is already up, so it's not going to try to rewire on me. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll understand all these things in a second, probably, as I get through this project. But um, this is Mint Potion. We are sort of a uh, watch-us-while-we-work-style studio. And we write the music for OKKO, OK which is a show that just debuted on Cartoon Network. Um, pretty much throughout the day, they're sort of like carpet bombing the entire schedule with it in a loving and amazing way that they're just supporting the heck out of the show and trying to, trying to boost it up. And I never imagined that was a thing that would ever happen in my lifetime to a thing I worked on, on the cartoon network. Like, whoa, that's, that's a really crazy thing to experience. Um, and so I'm trying not to let it inflate my head or drive me crazy trying to uh play nine dimension chess to compartmentalize all of that insanity that's incoming from just the sheer craziness of having your stuff on a tv show that's like all over the all over the channel <sighs> so what i'm doing is i'm writing motorized as you always oh, you, you can see me behind me mo look at this hitchhiker stuff um motorized vehicles um of various provenance and I stuffed the, I, this is my project my hobby platform this T6 over here um, but I'm into hoverboards now and I like do the whole conversion into go-kart thing like the like the dude perfect guys credit were due to a uh, family member for mentioning that to me like it's uh been a crazy crazy summer so far but I haven't been streaming because I've had this amazing show to work on every single week and so much pressure, like trying to juggle freelancing and uh, home stuff. I just rented a new place out in the middle of nowhere for the same amount of money as my old apartment that I was in the middle of the town, you know, with the shopping mall nearby and all that uh, that I never go to because I uh, just Amazon, honest, uh, Amazon honestly, <laughs> like, <laughs> but, um, I was in a shoebox before and now I have infinite amount of space for my dog nugget and for all kinds of critters rolling through there. We have all, all sorts of people are coming out, loved ones and friends and we're having a great time. It feels like a, feels truly like I'm at home outside of work now. I have a life outside of work, right? That's why I haven't been streaming on all the hours that I'm done with work where I then do more stuff, more detailed projects. Um, sure. That 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 has been replaced with riding my scooters around and like like building go karts. I I got a welder. I got a 
I'm working on getting a metal lathe. I got a table saw and a jigsaw and uh, let's see, a whole hydro uh, pneumatic setup minus the compressor, which I'm gonna buy soon. But um, I'm into 12 volt battery, 12 and up DC motoring hobbies. Does that make sense to anyone listening? Like electric, electric transportation based on DC motors. Brushless preferably because that's the future and servo when appropriate, but I'm starting to get into like it's not robotics, but it's similar. It's more powerful motors used to move people, which involves many of the same principles, lessons, and potentials as robotics. Like you can have a go kart with a Raz Pi on it, and then you can go all kinds of different directions with that. So there's already a, various communities for that online forums and whatnot. I, I want to actually join those as like a like a nobody is like I'm doing my first project guys hey I'm just lurking what's up in the intro thread forum you know <laughs> hey guys I'm new here I'll be one of those noobs anonymously anubimously I wonder if I should like fake an accent or something in my speech that would no that would be that's not come on Jake it's 27 what are you doing sorry for my momentary indiscretion yeah see See, I'm disgusted with myself. Wow. That's last year Jake. Wow. Man, I f I'm fully turning, fully filling into dad mode. This is like, this is grotesque. I need to get my trainer back so I could take care of the rest of this masa down here and just, yeah, get back to like Jewish Freddie Mercury Jake. Almost, almost though. Even then it was pizza dough, but I'm going to tighten and firm up my summer form so next year we can do that whole calendar thing i want ben to be in that too or preston or both certainly robbie i mean have you where's your robbie pictures put up some robbie pictures is that yeah look at that you want to see that on a calendar <laughs> we can get that into look at that look at that We call that the horizontal conga, <laughs> or at least I do now. I didn't read the scroller yet. This wasn't written by me. This was written by, I'm assuming, Ben. But I don't want to always assume. Maybe it was Robbie. Preston? Oh, nice. You can catch... <coughs> <coughs> Where does it loop? <coughs> Tell me when it loops. Tell me when it loops. I'm going to read it in text-to-speech voice. Thank you and enjoy the... Is this Jake? It is. He has returned to the big screen. Yay! Mint Potion is... Yay, 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 yay. Mint Potion is thrilled to bring you an OKKO. OK Let's be Heroes Power Block. Have you seen the show? An amazing story of heroes, villains, moms, and plazas can't be missed. Sit back and enjoy the show. If you missed this or any of their Mint Potion streams, you can catch them again and again and again and again and again and again on our Mint Potion YouTube channel. Also, Mint Potion will be launching its new site. In a couple days, www.mintpotion.com will be up and ready. You know, DNS propagation and all. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you and enjoy the show. Is this... Is this Jake? It is. He's returned to the big screen. Yay! Yeah! Mid Potion is thrilled to bring it all. And okay, KO, let's be heroes. Power block. I haven't memorized it yet, so I can't... You know. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go into uh, Jewish grandpa mode in a second here and read this. Uh, <laughs> sit back and enjoy the show. I'll be here. I don't worry about me. Um. <laughs> wow. That. Wow. That's too much of a reflexive instant ability. All right. So, welcome to those who are just joining us. I guess that's what we're doing, and I've just told you, in a manner of speaking, or somebody has told you who resembles me for a few moments. Twitch.tv slash mint potion. 
I wonder if I'm logged in after all this time. I've probably nuked my preferences a couple times. I'm like logged out where the cookie expired. That it happens even with real cookies to my horror. Sometimes they go past stale. <sighs> Why is that even allowed? I keep looking at this and laughing. My friend was showing me some, I believe, set theory. The other day in the mo early morning, I <laughs> was scrolling this. I hang out with like math professors sometimes. It's not a conscious decision. They just happen to be into video games and cool stuff. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm feeding back through my own feed. Let me mute that. Welcome. Do we have any viewers? Hello. How is everyone? Let me close this notification. Don't notify me right now. <sighs> I'm about to put you on notice. Uh, I want to read this for a second. So pardon me for being all just freaking the moment where they find George and Yellow Submarine fucking for a second. You're just hair waving in the wind. Oh, MG, Jake is streaming for the first time in forever. Welcome back. Yeah, thanks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Kaufman. Welcome back. Hey, in before Mandelbrot set. Man, that's Ben's. That's Ben's. It's Ben's Handelbrot. <laughs> Tuke Art. Hi, I missed you. I missed talking to you in person, so to speak. One half. That sounds really. That's like something a sociopath would say. Like, I miss talking to you, and you're like behind bars. You can't talk back on your camera. You're all locked behind the screen, and you can't come chill with me in my studio. And it's not because you're not allowed to be here. It's because, I don't know, y'all can't afford plane tickets or something. Like, whatever. I've been there recently, pretty much. <laughs> We're doing okay now, though, and we have been for a hot minute. And it's because we've been working really hard behind the scenes, even while we've been doing our like semi-daily streams with our core crew of engineers and creators and sometimes guests and sometimes there's stuff happening in here gaming entire gaming tournaments transpire at mint potion headquarters of which i am completely bliz like obliviously unaware because i'm asleep during them after pulling an all-nighter on a deadline on something and sometimes i'm just instead i'm out like riding go-karts or something instead of being here while they're doing something important to the company and like so is everyone else occasionally and it's like we manage to have things going on that don't require the full crew to be around and that's a beautiful thing because i don't have to sit here like micromanaging everything like my partner has everything and what he doesn't have all the people that are volunteering and you know working with us uh, are completely filling in any gaps that come up in the in the in the workload even if we're in like simmery mode and we're not like full blast mint potion ambition, uh, <clears throat> cause kind of like we're missing one half of the sort of managerial team doing daily, like creative direction. And to a large degree, a lot of the people we're working with, they're kind of just waiting until we're ready and doing their own thing in the meantime and kicking ass at it. But like keeping the flame alive, so to speak, while we're, crunching in one direction or the other whether it's family related stuff or it's work that we have to do outside to pay the bills like it's there's always something that occasionally comes up and that's a beautiful thing when it's something that brings in money that keeps the place going so uh occasionally i have to drop off the face of the earth so things like you know our streams may fall by the wayside for me for a minute but not for the rest of my team and that's like it's pretty cool i like it I like it a lot. It means I can go on a, a, an occasional vacation if I have a split between episodes and I have no deadlines for a minute. I could just like drive my car somewhere and sleep in it in the middle of a mountain somewhere and just be like, <sighs> like, oh wow, my flab is coming down. Hang, ooh, no bare midriffs. Sorry, Twitch. Sorry, everyone else too. Gross. Nobody wants to see that nonsense. <sighs> Thank you. 
I love Robbie. He's like, do your thing. Don't worry. <laughs> me. What, me worry? I'm like, do I have a soda here? Is this fresh? It's freshish. It contains significant carbonation. Diet Coke. Uh, it would be funny if that was in the commercial too. The kid's like, uh. I spontaneously. What's up, Robbie? Did you have a news item for me? Which files? Oh, I haven't begun working on the structure of the project or any of the files transferring. No, I'm going to do that in, on the stream. I want to show how it's done. This is take your stranger to work day. Or take your friend to work day, virtually. So I want to show from, from the bull junkin. Or I'm trying to be less profane on the stream because we might have some little ones watching. I don't know who the youngest star people are here around or if they're all like at least dope teenagers who are like, yeah, I, I can cuss if it's not around my folks. But the folks might be watching, and there could be five and seven year olds. It could be somebody close to me who's young, and you know. And then the mom is like, "Well, I don't know. I, I wish you, I wish you would, I wish you would clean up your mouth a little on the streams." And I would just be like, "You know, I am who I am." Or I could be like, "Okay, I think I'm preemptively okaying myself and self censoring to some degree, though I will occasionally erupt accidentally, kind of the way every parent usually probably does." I don't know if there's any perfect parents out there who just like never ever accidentally drop a F-bomb in the middle of Thanksgiving or something. But, 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 I'm tr con consciously trying to be friendly and under, I'm, ta I'm speaking to children as an, adult, as an adult, but not as a, as a drunken adult, if that makes sense. <laughs> not that I am in any way incapacitated by chemicals at this moment. But, but, if we do it that in any point, we'll we'll keep it in a red cup and say it's like daddy juice or something. <laughs> Besides, any any people, any youthful people who are watching this at this moment are already down with life just by being here and knowing to come here. Well, what was that? Who triggered that? And me just now? Oh, that was you. Un actually un. That was a quick resolution for me. I, the sad tale, what I'll, the doorbell of doom. Ah, there it rings, bodefully. <laughs> Team Red, that doesn't make it better. Call your daddy juice as much or shake, please. Ah. <laughs> I was joking, my brother. <sighs> I'm only going to call it, I'm going to, like, call it nothing because they just go in the other room. Because we have, like, a lot of rooms. <laughs> we'll just keep the daddy mommy juice in a different room. Got to get all the files to my Mac. You gotta figure out where is my slack? <laughs> uh, who gives a crap? <sighs> All right, I'm on Crate, which is our internal file network. All right, so I'm going to set up this project right now for you guys so we can get to work on embetterifying it, as I had hinted at beforehand on at least Twitter. I'm not sure if I told you the purpose of my composing today. I'm going to take the episode that aired last night of OKKO OK and sort of embetterify the music. That's the only way I can describe it, but I think it makes sense to most people watching, even though it's completely non-grammatical. Uh, if, like, insurance companies can do it in their ads, you grant me this one fellow pedantic English.
I don't want to say prescriptivist, but traditionalists at least. I'm conser I'm conservative with the English language when I give a, when I give enough of a crap to actually mind my words. But otherwise, I mince them and invent new ones because it's kind of the same thing I do with songs. So come on, it's just how my brain works. It's just a good thing I wasn't in marketing because I could be the one making all those stupid fast food puns like Rib Norma Sandwich. Like, that could be my life. Not to disparage anyone who does that kind of thing, but they're having a blast doing it. But I can, like, write funk music, so I feel like they should come over and, like, give me some song titles at least and write funk music as well, at least, if they don't already. I wonder how many people who are in marketing coming up with, like, dumbass human humor slogans, like, also are in a band or something, like being the funny guy in the band, like making the lyrics and stuff. So that, that girl who just, like, is in a punk band and just doesn't give a thud and just does roller derby on the weekends and stuff. Hmm. You gotta think about when you wish harm upon the people that made that Walgreens slogan. Oh man, what are the people like who came up with that? Was it a, was it an AI though? I mean, if it was a person, what do they do on their off time when they're not coming up with brilliant bad ideas? That's that's what I call that stuff. It's like, wow, nice pun, but why? And so, but skills, props, right? They're pretty funny people probably coming up with this stuff. What do, what do they do other than their day job of marketing? Where can I find them? I'm in Los Angeles. Where do I? What parties do I go to to find marketers who can be saved by getting them more interested in funk music? Mm. If or already there, so we can start a band and have the best titles. Something productive and not just selling a product. Because remember, we give our way, we give away our music for free on Mint Potion. So you can go and grab this stuff that I'm making after I make it. Huh. After we make it, I'm going to start on this stuff, and then I'm going to hand it off to Robbie. It's a two-day process, so this won't be instant. We will release the DX version probably two days after. I think I don't want to commit to it yet or announce it officially, but like, there's talk. There are rumors inside Mid Potion's headquarters suggest that it's possible that there could be a Thursday show in the working in the in the mix, yo, know, for upcoming broadcast. Kama says an independent source, quoted anonymously. <laughs> I have Mexican cookies as well, because this is, snack time has been integrated into Jake's power block, because there's like a Mexican bodega around the corner, and I can get all the good snacks that come out of the amazing country of Mexico. Oh, you guys don't even know. Oh, man, if you're, if you're not being adventurous in a gas station and you're not already Mexican, you're missing out on some really good convenience store snack. Like, you want to go there, it's like, where should I go for dinner tonight? It's like, let me go to the 7-Eleven and just get a bunch of these cookies. I could do that. I'm a grown-up if I want to sometimes. And everyone wants to sometimes, right? And this is what you do. And you get these, and it's like, it heals your soul. I've never had these specific ones before. I'm not going to eat a cookie on mic. It's like eating a cookie in bed. It's just too much. All right, so let's go over here and grab our MIDI track. We're gonna make this multiply many times. Man, I got that 30 hertz hatred going on right now. Nah. Well, stoof me and call me grandpappy. All right, let's, um, using track preset, do I wanna add, what do I wanna add, a piano to this track or? All right, first I'm gonna import the stems before I start instrumenting it out because I already know the music in my head and kind of what I want to do, but there's a bunch of a bunch of steps in the process to get this stuff going. Ah, let me stay reading the chat too occasionally. I want to take a break every now and then from my current task to address people in the chat. If I do that too much, I get super caught up and we rant for hours and hours and ah. Uh, Oh yeah, we did get a subscriber button, did we? Ah, well, I'm not going to even 
No, I'm never going to be the type who periodically is like, well, make sure to mash the subscribe button. I apologize if that came off as an imitation of anyone in particular in the streaming community. Like, I don't mean to disparage or self-promotion, but personally, it is not my style. And I respect those whose it is. Uh, does that work, English people? Yeah, whose it could be, who, who claim it as their way. Cause you gotta make a dollar, man. This just this this isn't my way of making a dollar. I make my dollars in a different kind of way, so I can be all like holier than thou on the stream and be like, "Oh, my stuff is free, and don't even bother subscribing unless you love us." Cause I don't spam nobody with like they were, they checked in that one time and they subscribed and it's like, "All right, Mint Potion, what was that? The Turtle Channel? No, 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 that was the other one. Mint Potion. Oh, oh, that's the weird composer guy and like is that crew of like weird people who just like make stuff." Yeah, I guess I could check that out some other time, you know. And I want to be like spamming them every week. I get that from other a lot of a lot of things. So I'm sort of preemptively Larry David about a lot of social implications of our chosen profession in the music teaching streaming industry. If that's a thing. It is now, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> T Mad's like stick around, the music is on its way. Oh yes it is. That's definitely true. Oh no, I said dumb age star star. My virgin ears have been penetrated. Ah I apologize because tympanic membrane perforation is a very serious issue affecting young people because it can cause scar tissue or even total destruction of the eardrum that impacts your hearing later in life. <laughs> there that's my penance every time i it's like a swear jar every time i accidentally drop an a bomb <laughs> or or i'm not going to be dropping any exotic bombs and i don't mean that as any kind of problematic slur against anything either i mean i'm, I'm not going to use like the mother of all insults kind of language At worst, I'm like, I'd say, like, take your 13-year-old to PG-13, because it's like, eh. I say that stuff at home all the time. But as penance, instead of dropping a penny in the swear jar, because I don't have two to rub together right now, um, instead of dropping, and I'm terrible at saving anyway, because I'll just break it out to buy an emergency scooter wheel or something like that. It's just, instead, I will teach you a science fact of some kind to educate your young and spongy minds. <laughs> And it may be, it may be bull hockey, but sometimes you just got to bull hockey and then go verify and fact check. If I'm teaching you accountability and claiming ahead of time that I know not of what I speak. But I don't think anyone else does really either. Sometimes they think they do after studying it a while, but they're like, you know, really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Gravity works. But, like, there's a lot of stuff you can't be that sure about, that you know, if you're doing a good job. And being a host of a show that children could potentially watch will always be one of those things for me, no matter how long I do it. I want to eat these cookies so bad. I feel like Nugget right now. I'm just like that dog with the cupcakes. I'm just like... Just... Oh, am I, am I bulging out again? Wardrobe malfunctions all over... I could put on my future jacket. Should I put on my future jacket that's behind me on that chair? Not yet. Not yet. I'm not cold enough yet. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the why is this not rated R movies? Those are always fun. Horror movies are like that because violence. It's like, oh man, that's why is that not R? But that's a debate for another day. All right, so I'm going to import the now that I've got the thing open on in Finder, which took like a half hour. Good. I'm getting loosened up so that I can work on this stuff. I need to. For those who are just joining us, I need to loosen up and sort of like chill the heck out from my walking outside pacing and now riding my scooter back and forth in laps all around the building. Like 
I'm like a human Jack Russell Terrier, guys. And so I get outside and I get it all out of my system and then I'm like, <gasps> and I sit down here and I'm just, this is me. Whoa, I'm peeking through a little more. Yeah, I'm going to wear my future jacket. I'm just going to tuck stuff into my pants here. Stop, hang on. Okay, we're done. There we go. No, we're good. We're good. We can come back. I'm not panting mode anymore. Dad panties. I'm going to have to grandpa it a little around the top here. Man, whatever. I don't care. Nobody cares. 2017, be who you are. Be what you are. I love all of you. Hmm, signature. Tempo. We got everything in order. So what we're going to do now is we're going to import these tracks from episodes. <gasps> zero for zero. We're going to go to... No, that's... No, wrong episode. <laughs> And probably wrong folder. Robbie, can you navigate me to the mix down? Oh, that's in the Dropbox, right? Or is it? Yeah. Or, no, where are they separated on? Nah. Hey. Thank you, my friend. But is it just, the, am I just working on the jams? Oh, every single cue for each episode chopped up and named? Are the uh, cues named? Oh, I love you, Robbie. I, I, oh yeah, I remember naming a bunch of them when we did our mega watching thing for the spotting sheet, the cue sheet. No. Yeah, I got so burnt out watching the, the, all the episodes all day long. Like, it's good that the schedule of the of the if they were doing a marathon. I would watch it, but I'd have to tune out after about 15 hours and just go do anything else and then come back, you know, afterwards. And that's how I feel about doing all those cue sheets. Like, I got a marathon of that show, and it was, like, incredibly enjoyable. But after a while of anything, you just need to get up for a break. It's always a good idea. So, um, but I didn't get tired of the show, which is, like, an amazing thing for me. I, I usually am, like, I can't look at this game for a second longer. I have to go do something. It's more like I got to go do anything other than having my eyes fixated and laughing myself into a coma. It's like, it's really good. It's really good times, but it's very stressful. And so, uh, we, we did that. I'm telling the, the audience about how we did the, um, the cue sheets is we basically have to watch every single episode of the show, figure out how much music was used in the final version, um, of that episode and then write all of it down and name all of the individual songs for, businessy sort of royalty performing rights organization and like network reasons royalties and all that stuff legality stuff like all the all the fine print stuff is wrapped up in that and we got to fill out the form and name all the songs and see how long they are how long where they were used whether it's a, a background track or a foreground or it's got vocals in it who's performing all the credits have to be there for like documentation purposes basically and so we're doing that sort of we're now we're going to do it each week but we sort of got backed up on the particularities of it and we did a whole bunch at once and robbie has just been soldiering through it for weeks now so that's why he's in, he and i have not been streaming as much you've been making the streams and doing some of them but like like i've been totally off stream for a while and now we're ready we're back we're ready to do all kinds of cool stuff as a total team now again uh, and we can start bringing people in just doing good stuff. So can you um drop in the Oh well oh they're all in bodega jams and they're ready to go? Okay. And that's every cue though, as stems. Oh wow. I'm sorry I'm taking forever to comprehend this, but it's blowing my mind. That's so much work to split all that up. Uh no no no, I believe you, I believe you. I'll go. I'll I'll go do it. Music team okay KO. Bodega jams, and it's every cue. Oh gosh. Robbie. Zero zero five. Every Q Fitness Dojo. Uh, Forty eight twenty four. Uh huh. Roberto, how do you stop the DS Store thing? It's some com dot apple dot thing on the command line or something. Is it a Finder option? It always puts them in a Dropbox, and then the other person is reminded that there's a Dropbox for that project, and they're like, "Hmm, Jake." I should check up on him through email. So it automatically generates a nag on a thing. 
I don't want to leave my tracksuit through a DS store. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. If people check up on me, I like to hear from them. I like, I like hearing from my friends. The problem is I'm on a lot of projects and I browse through my folders and it's just like everyone is like getting updates all the time through my file crawling activities. So I have a lot of really nice friends going, hey, what about that thing? Throughout the day. And I'm like, oh, that thing. Well, let's do that now. And then the other guy's like, well, there's a, there's a thing. Remember? And I'm like, oh, the thing. Uh, yeah, thing, thing, thing. So that's what my team is helping with, to just organize all the things, all the thing, thing, things. So it's like we've become this like multipartite organism, sort of six arms of the beast operating in turbo mode all the time. And now we're down to enough projects to do this full time again, all of us as a team. As I've said, ooh, my nice little rainbow collection of temp MIDI tracks, but we're not going to use those today. We're going to use, we're going to import a bunch of audio tracks. So I'm going to take this entire file structure, you know, I'm going to start a new work OKKO. OK I'm going to start a new, an entirely new folder. We're going to call this DX. I don't know if that's going to be become official branding, but that's unofficial mint potion canon. Like the DX version of the tracks is going to be the improved version that I make after the fact with the team. Live instruments more so than normal. We're going to still try to do the best we can on each week, but we're limited by time and budget. So we can't always get that live trumpet, but we can after the fact. And then you could like MST3K it over the top. But like <laughs> it won't be arranged in the same timing in order. They'll be just, or it probably will, but the edits, the, the ones that we put up on SoundCloud are not going to be timed to drop in over the show. They're going to be cut up into multiple cues. Like this next track, do, 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 do. you know, they're individual tracks on the album, but we'll have a DX version of many of the tracks. Maybe all of them, but maybe not all of them. And then we can take requests to do DX versions of individual cues. Oh, yeah, that's going to be dope. Diet Just for the heck of it. Diet Coke. <laughs> burp twice on the screen now. Standards and practices. I want to turn my mic off and eat this cook cookie. Does anyone object? Oh, God. I'm, <sighs> I'm on a Diet Coke. All right. I'm going to eat this cookie with my mic muted and I'm going to enjoy it while I listen to Swan Lake in my head and eat this cookie because no let's listen to Let's listen to Also Sprock Zarathustra, otherwise known as the 2001 thing. Shake.
Okay, am I back? Do you want to if yes to if no? By the way, if you go back and play the 2001 song over that from where I started in the cookie, it's probably going to line up as if I was, as if it was really on in real life as I was eating that cookie. Because I was trying to hear it in my head, playing it real time, and dance to it while eating the cookie. Get cookies. Which I don't regret, they were fantastic, but I wanted to like... I wanted to like make the the turnaround the third time about the Diet Coke instead of eating another cookie because it changes the, the third time. It's like a Coke. You're drinking it all happy. I feel good now and I can work. That's all right. I shower with like inspirational cartoon music in my head all the time. Oh. My life, guys. My life. My life. Hang on. Let me take my mic off for just one second to clear my throat. I don't want to be like <coughs> Grandpa all on the dream. Grandpa McLungsworth over here. Hang on. Let me get up. Did you just, did you guys just get butt cleavage? If so, I'm so deeply sorry. I was trying to use the Kleenex over here. <sighs> Damn. Oh, yeah. That's a bass cover of Mario 64. <laughs> all right, let all right. These are copied. The entire DX stream is copied over. Um, mix it down and mix them. Gonna copy the entire folder. He spilled it Bodaga Jans. I'm keeping it that way. Internally. I'm just copying the entire folder. Boop. My local hard drive now. So, we are preparing now the files. You see, to copy over. <laughs> Soon we'll drag them into Cubase. And then we'll begin to adulterate them in certain capacities in order to enhance their sound. The groove, if you will, as the kids say these days. Sort in order of name because they're numbered because Robbie's a boss. He's like the boss's boss that ever bossed, man. This guy is so on top of every detail. Every sound designer loathes the prospect of working with another sound designer who doesn't like categorize and name their stuff and organize things and like get things numbered and named and at least put some effort into making it readable and navigable and all that stuff. That's like basic one on one stuff, but that happens all too often. People are just like, I don't know what the thing is and I don't care to understand it if you try to explain it. So I'm not a computer person, I'm just a rock star. So <laughs> Robbie's a rock star who's also Enough of an, a geek to actually care about this stuff because it matters. But not everyone gets that. And so you got to find your, your people who get that and just never let them go. Because <laughs> they'll make every work experience completely enjoyable because they just get stuff. They just, here, I put it here for you conveniently. <laughs> yeah, man, thanks. Like, whoa, <laughs> nice. And so having that feeling a lot in your life, I mean, obviously, I don't have to tell y'all, it feels pretty good. So. Huh, yep. The vert grumpin' hour is over. Let's get to work. Who do we got up in here? I want to give shout-outs to all my people. All the people that I see. Is Jack here? Nice. The Jacks? 
I hope so by the Dr. Jack. I only know one person who would use Dr. Jack, I think. Unless there's another Jack around with two X's. I think it's the Jack I know. If so, it's the Jacks I love. And no, 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 no. If I know two Jacks, I love them both. But the one that it probably is knows what I mean by love. Like a brother. Like twin, identical twin brother joined at the butt. Yeah, but Nice. Joined at the guitar. Oh, yeah. Discord link. Get in our Discord if you're not already. Gotta be in the Discord. It's the place to be. Unless you're a troll or a jerk. And then just message me privately and give me your best shot. I just keep it real in the freaking channel. Come on, guys. We're so we're so good in the Discord. Everybody's like real nice, like like ridiculously nice to each other. Just let's be jerks to each other in private if we want. We could just trade barbs and insults, and I'll just go at you like the Renaissance Fair insult guy. I don't care. I don't know you. You don't know me. You might know enough about me to be personally significant, but don't. Instead, just talk about how I got no game. How we just have absolutely no flow, and how my skills are subpar. It doesn't have to be skills in music, or skills in love, or skills in dog rearing. It could just be your skills. Like, that's how you roast someone and you battle them. You demean their skills in general. Like, their skill in lyric, lyrical flow, anything they're doing at that moment. Like, your game is weak, basically. Sorry I'm telling you guys how to battle, but it needs to be said, because some of you guys could be really expert battlers with your troll skills and your meme ability. Drop Dragon Ball references in there and like Shrek humor. There's a lot of stuff you can do that's like you drop a Krabby Patty thing in your battle and the other person is just going to walk away in despair because you just completely slayed them. <sighs> I don't know, man. I have multiple do I haven't drinking Diet Coke, but I have one on my table. This is not product placement, I swear. We're not getting paid yet. Only for doing music work right now, unfortunately. Diet Coke, if you're listening. <laughs> Russia, if you're listening. No, don't. No. My people ran away from Russia long ago. Thank you. It's a very lovely place. It's beautiful. The snow is lovely. The food is wonderful. Some of it is ours as well. We have adopted it. I love the Russian people. I just don't want to live in Russia so much. Or... But then I could be acting like this and be busted two ways from Sunday. Ugh. Do 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 Okay. I call that one nothing yet because I need to You know we're going to release the soundtrack for the show, so let's just listen to the full mixdown of the entire show. Is there a full mixdown of the entire show, Roberto? I think those are in the Dropbox. But they might also be on the network. It would be handy to have the entire episode's mixdown. Although I can always just drag the wave series one by one. I wonder if I can drag a folder into Cubase. Of course I can't. I can't tell there's waves in there and just drag them all in. Come on, Steinberg. I just screwed up the network folder, too. Wah, wah, wah. All right, meet Lakewood Plaza Turbo. Oh, Grumpus Wumpus. Oh. No. That's just for the song. Let's find out if we have the other Dropbox with the stuff in it. Zero zero five. Let's be heroes. 
audio files. There we go. Oh, five and six aren't in there. Oh, they, it's, yes, they are. I'm just not sorting in the right way because I'm silly. Mickdown. Touchdown. <laughs> I don't know what that was from. I just made it up. <laughs> A fictitious sports football touchdown team. Oh, here's the... Oh, we have to make these little beeps um, in order to uh, tell the audio mixer people where to synchronize everything to. So, I can't play you the whole episode because that, you know, that's on the network, it's on TV. That would be like me torrenting it to you or something, you know. That's, that's not officially condoned. So, um, rightfully so, honestly. I don't want to show everybody the, the cartoon who hasn't seen it yet via this grainy... Not to disparage Twitch, but compared to cable television or high quality app streaming, you know, like Twitch has good stuff for gaming and, and details, but you want to see it at the source, really, if you can. And a lot of these are online, so including this one, it, you can watch it in the Cartoon Network app and or just watch it, watch it on TV or in the app or online or like any way you can possibly watch it. Try to watch the show because it's really, really good. Not not speaking co totally separately from the music. The, the show is really good. I am a super, super fan of the actual show, and I'm like, where's it going next? Every week, I'm just like, oh, I want to know what, I want to learn what happens to these characters. There's a lot of cool stuff. So, it's just as Ian said it would be. Some, some are episode of the week, and others are plot related, and everything just goes forward and, and sideways and all, in all kinds of directions. The show is it's amazing. It gets, it gets so good, so good from, like, Episode one onward, it just start. It only gets better from here, and it was started. It starts the the beginning is so strong. It, it intr introduces you to the characters, and like there's a challenge that comes up that becomes a recurring thing later. That becomes you know, you get your intro to the world through the first couple of episodes. It's like ah, it's so satisfying to go back and watch those first couple of episodes. So to hear the music is very special for me because we worked really really hard on it. It was my, it was like the first we knew it would air first. So we had to do this episode before any of the other ones. Um, not before any of the other episodes uh, that we scored previously, but the first show episode was the first one that was that was going to air, but we had the mini-sodes, the, the web stuff that went up. We did those beforehand, and some of the, the, the shorts. The shorts is what I was trying to think of. Internet shorts, web, web shorts. But most of the stuff that... You, you, you people are watching out there in TV land, um, in the first week or so is like the first ones that I did. So they're going, they're not, we didn't, we're not going totally in order of airing, you know, cause TV reasons and stuff. Sometimes they're out of order and they shuffle them around a bit. And so we'll do one that's like 10 ahead or, you know, two ahead, but it's usually, it usually more or less follows the progression. And so I'll get an occasional spoiler episode from way above. And then, and then it's like, ah. Oh yeah, but how do we get there? Oh, 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 the whole way through. So it's, it's such a weird way to experience a fandom of a show, like as it's being created around you and you're helping to make it, but I'm not helping to create the story and the characters as much as I am to expressing my reaction to them, how I feel about them in musical form as a fan. I'm like, I'm writing fan music for these characters as the composer of the show. And that's how I feel about Shovel Knight, too. I get that warm, fuzzy feeling, like, writing for these characters that I, I'm like, Plague Knight, he's got to, yeah, he's got to sound just like that. Like. Ah. Speaking of which, we're going to get on the vinyl soon for all kinds of stuff. I don't know if that's been officially announced or in what capacity, but you all assumed we were going to do more vinyls. And, like, we're doing, we're doing all the vinyls. We're never going to stop doing the vinyls, but if, uh. If they get tired of doing it on the marketing department for some reason, which will never happen, uh, we'll just do it ourselves and release limited edition ones. Like it's, we're never gonna stop doing shovel knight vinyls because I think that's the coolest thing. I can give one to anyone that has a turntable in my life who doesn't know about game music, and they're just like, "Oh, let's put this on." They're just like, "What? That's gonna be out of my record player? Nice." So. I'm never going to stop doing those. And 
As the soundtracks keep getting better, the vinyl I choose to bring over will be a further one, probably. In addition to the original, yeah. I'll just bring the whole box set as it assembles itself. Alright, so this is the whole show soundtrack. This is all the music that's in, contained within the show. So we'll play it out for you, and then I'll show you how I'm going to upgrade it. Each, each track, potentially, but probably only a few. And release a DX version of those tracks, alongside each individual track from these. Nice. My mouse cursor gets all big and aggressive when I shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it like a polar boy picture. Ah, uh -uh. all right. All right, so can y'all hear that, I hope? Um, uh, I met max volume on my... I don't think turning it up here changes the... output actually i'm not sure if you can can you hear my audio out there yeah you can right yeah q source the stereo one and stereo two and then it's the q going out to the stream so yeah q output is at maximum and this knob does nothing so if it's too quiet you'll have to adjust it on the tricaster side team if anyone's even in the booth i don't know give me a mexico if you if you acknowledge Give me a Mexico. Can I? I don't even know what I was asking for anymore. I lost my train of thought. I just want to see the Mexican flag. Can you show it to me? Please. Someone. I sound insane right now. But trust me, you'll know in a second if anyone's actually listening. And I'll keep asking every two minutes until somebody's there. They're probably looking through the transitions right now. Like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on, I want to see the Mexican flag, and so does everyone else. Uh, <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah! Woo! Okay, I'm happy. Wow, I made it out of that one without even doing any racist caricature voices. Nice. I'm just happy. It's like, I go to Cinco de Mayo, I'm not going to like wear a sombrero or nothing. I'm just like, going to drink a lot of beer like everyone else. Maybe pick up an accordion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I love accordion, especially in Mexican music. I wanna play it I wanna play Mexican music like really bad. Like really bad, guys. Any any Mexican people around who watch this stream, please if you got musicians in the family, like bring them over on family day or something to mid person. Like I wanna play music from all parts of the world, but I'm around a lot of Mexican music and I love the heck out of it. I wanna make it. I wanna play it with the I wanna jam. Like play all kinds of, yo. Yeah. Should I not use that? You have it on crate? Yeah, but I want the whole thing. Oh, yeah, give me the master thing. And I'll do a DX version of it. Oh, wait, 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 Robbie. No, wait, Robbie. Uh. Hey, hi. Um, instead, let me use the raw stuff, the original stuff, and augment that so you can master it using the same chain, more or less, because it's just an augmented version of what you, what's already there. So, no, the, 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 I guess the new stuff could be, a, yeah, just the, well, it'll be a set of stems, so you can mix it further, just one, one pass. Exactly. It's going to be just new, a new, a new, it's going to be like a new episode stem set with the drums and the strings and whatnot the same the same output buses that i use on everything else is going to be on this one so yeah it'll be just like working with the normal stuff but it'll be extra stuff fluff layers yeah i'm not gonna use the master version to work with although I, oh wait no i'm just i'm just doing the mastered full length version to have people listen to it so give me those invalidate our entire previous conversation but yes he's like done <laughs> robbie i love robbie <clears throat> Prof and Jay, yo, it has been a while. Hey, how's everything going, everyone? I am super glad to have everyone here and be on stream again. It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been too long. I've been so busy and crazy and up. My life has been an utter upheaval in every conceivable way. And now it's more or less settled down. And it's like really good now, outside of work especially. But not to say there's any problems at work. Like it's like pretty uh, smooth sailing at this point. Ah. 
not a wave of danger to be seen. Ah, smooth we are with the reggae music. Hoffy, you're trying to do a different process this time with a new project. Ha! Nice. You'll never see me say that's a bad idea. Fake it till you make it. Just, just try whatever you think might work, maybe. You might be right. It could be like, what? What? It was that easy? Oh, bless you. That's fine. It'll go right into Cubase. I don't care. Okay. Which is... I'm going to do all the remixes as separate files completely. So, yeah, nice. Thank you, Robbie. Right, everything's together, but that's wonderful that you took all the time to edit and master all that stuff. Man, I see, that's what I should have done for the release thing. If it were a game soundtrack in olden days, I would have had to do that myself for the release, and I just wouldn't have gotten around to it, and it, I'd be late on the release or something. But you just took took over and took care of it, and so thanks. That was rad. It saved me a lot of guilt and stress over not getting to it, basically. And he did it better than I can do it anyway. The guy's an audio engineer. Ah, uh, anytime I get too gay for Robbie, he has to ring my doorbell, if you know what I mean. Like, literally, ring my actual doorbell that's in here for some reason. <laughs> it was originally so they couldn't disturb me, but I'm like, what is it? It's a thing that comes out of nowhere. It's, it's just as much as a disturbance as a knock on the door of like, hey man, or like walking up behind me and breathing on the back of my neck. Like there's all kinds of stuff they do and none of it's less bad than the doorbell. I mean more bad than the, yeah. None of it's worse than the doorbell. Is there a Diet Pepsi jingle? Does anyone know, have there been Diet Pepsi jingles on TV? Like, just for the taste, Diet Coke. Like, is there a... Is there a, like... What? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hang on. Wait. Wait, I had the window open and then for some reason... Oh, there it is. Okay. Do 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 we do do boo bodega jams back to here and then zero zero five mastered mix fantastic it's no problem you'll be making tweaks until the end of time you'll be making tweaks until the end of time hang on a second let me get distracted from here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be here all here. Wow, this is like a square wave in here. Mm hmm. Mastered hot for your ear. Like it's the commercial mix. Oh, yeah, gotta make it quick. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's got all the music. So let's listen to all the music together, guys. I'm going to S-T-H-U. <laughs> and um, I'm going to mute myself temporarily and probably eat another cookie while we're listening to this music. So, yes, Mexican flag. Viva Mexico. All right. Mute. Love you. Peace.
So hey, that's the music from that from the first episode that was on television. Which is hey, what's up? Wait, come back, come back, oh. Prince Valiant. Yo, just as just as this cue is playing, full disclosure, I just want you all to know this. Check this out, Robbie. Check this out. Just as I was listening to this cue, if you go back in the video on demand or whatever TiVo thing you got going there on Twitch, um, if uh, if you listen when I. When I was playing the sad cue, you notice I backed up and looked down at the ground and I was just like, I had my head in my hands for a second. Because when I was pantomiming all that battle stuff, I was crushing this, this cookie that had fallen down on the floor into a fine powder. And I only noticed it because my feet felt like they were sliding back and forth more easily than usual on the wood. And I was like, cookie crumbs? What? How? Oh. Because I was just like, yeah, go. Da, da, da. And I got my butt handed to me by this cookie crumb experience now that I got to clean up. So, like, zombie roaches don't inf. You don't say. The cleaning crew, was it? But still, I shall track cookie all over the place. I must clean it. Who has a dust mop? Pan. Pan. A dustpan and a broom of some provenance. Oh, and I don't know if it's the cable or the Ewe, but I might need to like drop ship overnight a new Ewe USB to myself. Because I think this one's dead. It could be the cable, so I'm going to test the new cable soon. Oh gosh, I hope it's the cable. But if it's not, the embouchure doesn't work anymore either, so I can't do the clarinet vibrato. <laughs> The whole Klezmer thing, you know? I have to fake it with this, which I can do, but come on, it's more fun on the real thing. But, you know, how did that cookie... Oh, it was the one where I was like, I showed you the little bit of the cookie, and it had escaped somewhere. I cr it was half the cookie, and I crunched it up subsequently. There's, like, share caster tracks in the cookie dust. Oh, you can see it. You can see part of it here. This little ground up segment. Oh, that's something else. That's a piece of napkin. You know, what's up with my gross experience here? I've been so good lately. I've been so good about clean, keep, keeping stuff clean. As you can see, my desk is like somewhat less chaotic than usual. We just got the pack of gum and like the air conditioner control and some ketchup. You know, all the basic necessities in life, right? <laughs> I love all of you. Anyway, but then I pulled back into my chair with resolve as this started playing. I was like, it's going to be okay. I'm going to pull through. I don't care about the cookie crumbs. I'll step right on them because I D G A H. Yeah. Yeah. You like that moms and dads. Potentially network exec. I don't know who's watching right now, so I'm going to try to be a mensch, as they say, amongst my people, wherever possible. Just a good policy in life, right? You know, you try, you try to be a mensch. What are you going to do? You're going to be a jerk to everyone or anyone if you could help it. If they're like cutting you off in traffic. You got to say a thing or two. Or just say, hey, guy, why would you do that? But you can't be like going up and starting fights and stuff using violent language. <laughs> I love the music from the show. I'm sorry I'm dawdling on this, but I don't even know what I'm going to do 100% yet. I only have a couple ideas. It's the first time, guys, we're trying this new formula, and honestly, most of my streams are just me ranting incoherently. We're ranting coherently, but at incoherent length about pretty much whatever. Because I gotta get it all out of my head before I can knuckle down and do the do the performance of the composing thing. It doesn't just happen. I can't just sit down and be like, "All right, write music," unless I've planned to in advance and planned it out. But I'm going into these the day after they air, meaning I have to cope mentally with the fact that the TV show I scored is on the air right now, and so just that is keeping me crazy enough to not even be able to think about it until the day of, I don't even want to think about OKKO OK early episodes because I've just thought about them for 20 hours straight like oh my god it's out it's on it's uh so now I'm like 
let's come into this with a fresh mind and try some things. Let's, let's listen to what we want to work on today. What do you think? I don't think these ones need anything. I don't want to DX everything. I just want to, some of the tracks, this one had the benefit of being the first episode. So I'm all full of P and V. No, wow, that's phrasing, Jake. I didn't mean what you probably think. I meant P, I, double, snake, and vinegar. I'm full. <laughs> um, and anyway, I was really hyped on these first couple tracks. And, um, and so I did everything to maximum insanity. And then I started realizing it's impossible to keep up that pace for the entire series. So I'm not going to say... I got lax on anything ever because this consumed my entire schedule pretty much, you know, year round for the past year, at least, uh, more than a year now. But, um, like there were episodes where I would do fake bass instead of live bass. Cause I didn't, I just didn't have the time to do the live. There were so many cues to do. I couldn't sit there and record everything myself. And there was just, it's too much for one person to do every single week. But now I get the opportunity to go back and put all those things in that I wish was live or it was like better. Um, I can embedder it. I can embigger it. I can enhance, enhance until it sounds exactly like what I always imagined it, what it might sound like in a perfect world. This is our perfect world, ladies and gentlemen, where we can make things as beautiful as we want them. After the fact, <laughs> it's already shipped. Let's do a DX enhanced, you know, like a remastered version is Angela. It's the remastering with additional instrumentation, harmony, and orchestration. Sometimes synthesizer work, sometimes some new drums. Sometimes I'll take the fake bass and make it live, right before your eyes. Okay, here's one that I wish I could do with a live sax. If, all right, so we need to get our live sax playing super intern back on site now that we're going to be doing this again so we can embiggen these episodes live while he's here oh caleb oh gosh i don't know if you're listening or watching right now but if you see this in a vod or if i just get it into my head to text you because i'm just that chaotic or i may not remember to for a minute after the show because i got to do like a billion things at once and i might forget so just in case is a if anyone watching from the house has Caleb's contact info. We need to get him here so we can do sack stuff. Cause that's the big thing I can do it fake and I can do it well, but it's not the same as the real thing. It's just not, this sounds good. Okay. Okay. So probably everyone, but like Mad Brain, probably he 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 understands my frustration, um, and probably some other sample library heads. I don't want to not give anyone credit because I don't know who's watching. There could be other composers here that are just like, yeah, it's good, but it's not perfect. It could, if it were real, it would be way better. Because not only, not only are the samples good, but somewhat staid sounding. It's not as dynamic, breathy, and growly. It doesn't have all the articulations that a sax can do. I'm talking completely about the saxophone. TMAT understands as well. Madbrain and TMAT are the, are the sample articulation. <laughs> I don't want to see OCD because it's not a disorder. It's, we're obsessive and compulsive about our sample library manipulation, and it still only gets part of the way there. The real thing is it's, I can sit there all day long tweaking this, but it'll take all day for me to get all the growl and articulation things. And it's still me, a non-saxophone player. I could play a little, but I'm not good. But not, not a good saxophone player trying to make a good saxophone sound. So I'm not even, I don't even know what I'm doing with the instrument enough as much as a, wow. I like that transition a lot. That's, that's amazing. I like that one. So now when we have sax players around who hang out with us, we can just send them into Robbie's office and just lay down a sax line. We could also do that tomorrow. I mean, on Thursday show, like we can just schedule now. All right. This is me putting out the call. If there's any sax players that are nearby and want to come down and play that part, 
Caleb's got first chair dibs because he's our intern and he deserves it. And he hasn't been around in a bit because all of our life stuff has coincided. So we're just kind of taking a summer break from school and everything. And just now, but now it's time to knuckle down. And now that summer is fully set in, like now is when we're like, all right, we got a bunch of sun. Let's continue to get sun, but also like make some live instruments. That's what we're like. I don't know. Says no one ever, but that's what I'm feeling. Right. We want to make some saxophones here. That gets, I get angrier and angrier every time I hear that. Come on, Jake. Let's get real saxes in that. We can do that. We have the technology and the resources and the friends. And we never pay for studio time. Ah, that's how you do it. I don't know, because we haven't done it yet. Let's do it. Arr! This one isn't changing, unless we get live strings. That's another request, but that's a wish list. I don't know if Jeff has time or if anybody else in the area has time. So I don't even know how, if Caleb has time. Or, but we have a bunch of sax players, but only a couple string players I'd ever trust this with. Definitely want sax on that as well. So if we get a sax player down this week, we got to make this in, into a sax piece. Ah. How do I, how, how do I say your name? I've, I'm sure I've asked this before, and I'm sure I've, you've answered because I recognize it. Kaika? Seika? Tell me how to pronounce it so I can do it correctly. Ah. Even if there's an accent on it, I'll try my best. Anyway, if you ever need help, I play a mad kazoo, and yes, that will be a thing. I've done multiple kazoo-containing songs already. We did a SpongeBob game where I performed the kazoo. I'm not the best kazooist on the planet. I could, and I tried to make an ensemble by multi-tracking myself, playing the same part multiple times. So it sounds like a wave of kazoos, a wall of kazoos, if you will, a flock of kazoos. That sounds about right, right? Fl a flock of kazoos at once. But I played it. I tried to play it a little differently each time, but it wasn't a different person playing it, so it doesn't really sound like a band. It sounds like a bunch of my siblings playing it or something. So if we had another person playing the part, it would sound more campfire and like off in the right kind of ways in different ways than mine. Because you're not going to auto-tune the kazoo. Or are you? If you're really off, I'll probably melodyne you, but don't worry about it. You won't even tell. You'll be like, wow, I played that well? And I'll be like, yep, you did. Because you played that well, it just wasn't in tune. Maybe. Maybe you're perfectly in tune. I'm not going to judge. I'm going to take what you give me and make you sound the best you can sound. Because I'm here to support you and to make a cool thing. So if, you, if any of y'all play an instrument and you want to join in on any of this stuff, this is an open call. If there's any players who want to put their stuff in this, in the DX versions, this won't go on the air. So you won't get like TV credit and stuff like that. But if they some someday release a... DVD that has an alternate audio track or something like that, you would be listed on that appropriately as in the credits. We'd insist on it in the in the uh the whole thing you'd have you'd have a listing in the in the credits page or something like that. You'd in the J card or something like that. Like we'd make a special mention of it because it's the least we can do. But if we sell if we ever sell any of this music, we're gonna divide everything amongst the musicians because that's how it should be done. Like I'm tired of I'm tired of session players having to take 500 things at once to get by. I think people who are working on like Steven Universe and other game serial serial game projects down in in LA and San Francisco, I think they have the right idea going where they have a client that gives them a bunch of work and just has them come in for stuff. And if we can build that up with our inter internet friends and in-person friends and they can cross over sometimes if you can come visit us, like we can either record you here or have you record in your own home studio. As long as it sounds okay, it's going to be awesome in here because we can make it sound, you know, as long as it's not a trashy recording with your iPhone mic. And even if it is, if, if it's something like an, 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 an automaton or something like that, or just as an example, not saying we've done that, we've done that. It's, it was amazing. But that was the first of our experimentations. 
I like working with my friends, but I like making new ones too to work with. So, uh, come one, come all. If you want to play live instruments on our on our jams, like, and you hear me working and combing through these and being like, "Oh, we need a live player on this, Robbie. Get to work." You know, you could be like, "Hey, studio at mintpotion dot com, or in our Discord, or in here, or something." You know, I want to take that one on and play play in the ensemble there. I can play clarinet. I'll play that part, dueling the saxophone. You just learn it by ear. I'll give you the stems. The all, the winds and orchestra are separated into their own thing. So if it's a dense orchestration, you might have to use some ear training, and I might have to melodyne you. But don't worry, you won't even notice. It'll just suddenly be in the right key somehow. It's like, how did you do that? Technology, baby. I lightsabered it into place. You won't be able to tell. Maybe maybe Mad Brain would be able to tell. Maybe. Maybe too mad. Someone who's done enough manipulation of instruments with pitch changing would be able to barely pick it up, but maybe not in a dense mix. It might be completely, uh, might not be completely sensible. Oh, I had my medical breathing apparatus on. Well, don't worry, it's not drugs. It's just. I'm trying not to I'm trying to keep all of my adult vices off screen. I'm trying to make Mad uh T, -T Mad go like, "Wow, you really you guys really shaped up and you meet my standards for parental uh absorption." I would let my friends' parents watch this show with their kids. Like that's the standard I'm shooting for someday. We're getting there bit by bit spontaneously and then we'll formalize it somehow in the future. We can think all the negative thoughts we want. We just have to state them eloquently, using all of our words. Teach some children some words that aren't four letters only. Hmm. I'm far from a Puritan. I'm trying very hard here. <laughs> I'm like Andrew Dice clanging it up outside, and then I come in here, I'm like, Hello, children! It's time to be polite and friendly to each other. Let's support each other through music. Oh, I don't want to loop. That's how you turn on looping, and that's why I do it accidentally all the time? Really? That's how you do it in Cubase? I've been using this program for like 14 years, and I always accidentally enable loop somehow. And I just learned that it's by clicking the top of the timeline. I feel this calls for a break, but... Because I kind of need a minute. You learn something new every day, but this is like a... Well, of course I... How do I not know that after... All of this time, accidentally enabling it and being frustrated by that. I didn't know you could... I knew, I knew it was forward slash, couldn't enable it and disable it, because I'm always accidentally clicking somewhere. I'm clicking to reload, and it's like, oh, loop. Oh, loop. Damn it, it's looping. Oh, all right, forward slash. Or come down here to the loop thing and disable it. You can also disable it. Anything that turns purple, unturns... Oh, you guys can't see it, because it's on the other screen. Anyway, you can see my frustration, my visible, palpable frustration at this unique problem that I just discovered the answer to. Ugh. It's something new every day, guys. For real. I'm so happy about this. I can I can now enable my loop throughout the whole thing by just yeah, but I'll accidentally locate instead when I want to loop. Hey, that's you know the price of doing business. All right, let's uh let's pick some more stuff to do. I will take a break in a minute because I've been broadcasting for an hour and a half or whatever. Unfortunately, we don't have any custom commercials to play yet but we're gonna get on that this week and start making some fake commercials that are not parodies they're just they're real commercials that didn't ever actually there was no product called that but it could have been and it's not even funny it's just that we just made it for some reason like car commercials for dealerships that never existed but it's totally not funny at all other than that that it exists at all that we made it it's totally deadpan like you know, East Minnetonka Ford, <laughs> home of the best values. And you just show Ben driving in like a beater Ford from the 80s, you know. Do, 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 boo, do, do, do. Like I can do the music for it as well. We can get the live trumpets, no synths, just the live trumpets. And the, and the bass and the guitar and those things. <laughs> mm. <sighs> home of the no lemon guarantee out in Valencia. <laughs> Come have an orange, and don't get a lemon, at Bob Lemon Ford. 
The new 92 escorts have arrived. Ah. And they're as peppy as ever. Now for only... One ninety nine a month, or two thousand down. <laughs> eight ninety eight eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine sticker price. You know, this is in the nineties. We got to do period accurate stuff. Uh, period Acura. Yeah, that would be the meta one where it's like it's period accurate. So we do period Acura. We take pride in all the little details. <laughs> we get everything right from the ground up. Like the music comes in, then right. So we're going to have these as commercials and we're going to go to commercial in the middle of our stream. And that's me going outside for a second and riding my scooter and just de detoxing from my own brain. And, um, and we're going to play commercials instead of nothing or just music in a loop. We'll be right back. The we'll be right back is going to be a commercial break that from an alternate universe that never existed in real life until we just invented it. So, huh. To order commercials, send twenty nine ninety five to the address listed on your screen. Here's how to order. <laughs> Supplies are limited. Call now. <laughs> mm. All the all the the high paced rock music, like it's like yacht rock, taken up twenty beats per minute. And you have the strings. There's a time roll at the end. Bob Ford Acura. <laughs> at Toronto Lexus. You'll be sorry if you drop anywhere else. <laughs> For the new 1995 Lexus SC330. With an advanced motion processor that handles the ride. With an active suspension. <laughs> You'll pass lorries with ease. Oh, I know. I'm just messing with you, Canadians. I, I love you. You don't say lorry. Fucking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean to offend anyone. In Canada. I love my Canadian neighbors. But they've got the sense of humor where they're like. Yeah, well, nice job there. I'm glad you're proud of yourself. <laughs> I hope you feel accomplished, bro. <laughs> I'll abstain from making any digs at Americans at the time being, because you're already doing a good, a good job, good enough job of yourselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope to set an idiotic example for all Americans abroad if I ever travel. I don't tend to be, like, are they all this weird? I mean, I thought I understood them. Rock and roll and apple pie and Jesus, but what is that? Is that their, like, freak type person? Or is that how they mostly are? I just want to give somebody pause in Hong Kong somewhere. Like, are they all like that? Maybe? Nah. But maybe? Do I really know Americans that well? They're all like me. I'm a person of Walmart. But I must shop at Target because people very special to me in my existence are, abhor the idea of shopping at Walmart at this point due to having farmers in the family. And you can unpack that on your own. Google it all, all over the place about big box business practices and mom and pop stuff. But I don't particularly hold that view, which is why I always went to the big box stores. You know, I'm just like, whatever. I'm just, I'm a person of Walmart. I don't give a, I don't give a crud. But if somebody close to me does, I'm going to be like, I'm mindful and understanding. Let's go to Sprouts. <laughs> uh, you want me to pick you up anything at Whole Foods? There's, yeah, there's corporate problems everywhere in every, in every large business. Because just there's always that one guy, right? There's always that one guy that makes it cruddy for everyone else. In any corporate or political or any f group of friends, there's always that one guy. It's, it's that guy. Ah, he's got to make it bad for everyone. Oh, relax. I don't just mean he. It could be a, a lady, too. People are just assholes. Uh, uh, as... Uh, donkeys. Sorry, you can't say the A word. 
to to uh, mean donkeys anymore without. I don't want to be a donkey, so I won't. I will say donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that. <laughs> I got a cassette tape of that. I won it as as a prize, as a grab bag prize at my own bar mitzvah while wearing a giant cowboy hat after a mini game that I won that I'm not sure was rigged, but I'm not sure wasn't. <sighs> I have memories like this of every song that's stuck in my head. It's really unfortunate. Like, where were you the first time you heard this song? It's like, well, I was at my bar mitzvah. The DJ was like, all right, the electric slides over. What do you guys want to do? Because we don't got anything else. You know, that's all, that's all we do. You want to dance into the horror? And then and instead, they played mini games with like, we got silly string and like, you're just like running around the room and stuff. <clears throat> and then they played like, you know, 90s electro bass freestyle homie rap. Dude, I love that track so much. And there's not that much I can do other than solos on top of here. And that's really cool. I'm going to do solos on top of here. Not immediately. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to play around a little bit and then we're going to do the serious recording on Thursday. This is going to be my overlay day where I maybe do a breakbeat for something or like, you know, I want to talk about and analyze the music with you guys. So, um, what you can subscribe, like paid subscriber. What is that a thing now? All right. Well, again, I'm not going to flog it on the air. I just can't let myself do that. I can't be like, you can subscribe to us at the whatever, whatever, like let the bot do that. And let our guests do that, like, if they wish to. But I'm not going to be like, and you guys could do that around the office. I don't care. This is my personal choice is not to be like, pay us to do our show so we can stay in business. Like, we'll figure out a way to stay alive if you don't subscribe to us. It's fine. But please do if you like us. Because <laughs> then we get to buy more pizza. Pizza! I crave pizza once again. <laughs> Michelangelo. <laughs> Nice. We're going to make an emote for TMAD 40 Blue, which, I mean, we should have anyway. He's, man, TMAD 40 Blue. We got the best, best, best fan base. Even if I wasn't streaming for a while, like, they kept it going and people kept showing up. We have a regular crew that's second to none. It's quite amazing. So, I'm really happy to be around this, this whole crew. And I want to have lots of emotes for everybody all the time. Uh, hang on. What's that? I'm blowing my nose again. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, hello, cumulus, cumulus escaping my vaporous visage. Uh, bam. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do splinter all day long. My sons, my turtles, <laughs> you must go and give me a back rub. Right around here. The ninja ways prescribe it as discipline. <laughs> right away, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the doidles. Wait, I can pretty much do a bad impression of every character on Ninja Turtles. Can I do an April? April O'Neil. No, I can't. I sound like my mom. No, nope, 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 nope. I noped out of that one. No, the dream is already as good as had. No, it's going to be a bad one, too. With the. With all the parts. No. I hate this. Why do I talk in falsetto ever? It's triggering immediately. Not in a bad kind of way, but it always mixes with... When I try to do a girl voice, 
I end up doing a woman voice that is my mother's voice. And so whatever I'm trying, whatever character I'm trying to do, a female character, um, it, you guys get it. All right. They're like April O'Neil's like, go clean your room, Jake. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to go on a break, guys. I'll be right back. No, I'm kidding. Let's, I love my mom. I miss her. But I don't want to talk like her in daily life. That's, I creep my sister out one, one time. I'm like, Julie Michelle. Like, I, she picks up the phone and I'm like lecturing her. And she's like, Mom, but, like, it's me. Like, what? No, gross. What? Why would you do that? Like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I can. You would too if you could. I say that about a lot these days. <laughs> I have a lot of weird useless abilities that come in handy like once in a blue moon it's like oh you're the guy who could do that weird thing yep i can't fix the water heater or do my taxes right but i can definitely balance a hamburger on the end of the lawn ornament i don't whatever <laughs> uh metal foundry do i want to bring what do i want to bring into this one Let's first get the guitar in there because I want to shred. I feel like shredding right now. Guys, most of my job is playing around. That's how I get this music. This is how this happens is I play around until I have this. Just like this. Just like this. I screw around and I don't do much of value. And somehow, in the end, I have this. I work for a little while, and, but I've already got the ideas sort of gelled around and messing around with things. And then we end up with the finished product. Guys, I don't know how it works, but you're welcome to watch. I picked a piano stack. Why did I do that? I wanted to do wrong instrument. This contact. This contact though. That contact though. No, 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 this, this contact. This contact. Oh yeah. Hi. I miss having a pitch wheel because I'm working at home a lot and I have a home piano. Kind of like like a Yamaha that you buy in the Guitar Center, but it's not like for studio usage, it's for home piano usage. And so I got one of those things. And uh, But it's got a MIDI input, so I can use, and it's got weighted keys just like this 888, so I can work at home on OKKO or whatever else. And uh, with Ableton on my laptop. And so, in Cubase even, I could bring my stuff home. Anyway... I don't have a pitch wheel though. Do they sell a standalone? All right, Army, I'm putting you to work. Do they sell a standalone pitch wheel that's just a pitch mod unit and with like maybe buttons on it? I just want a good Roland D pitch. It doesn't have to be a stick. Don't give him a stick. It can be a wheel or two wheels like pitch and mod. They got to make one of those things. Like it's probably one of those dip for ones. Like they got to have like, I'm sure Behringer makes some kind of like wheel box two by two or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ranch it up, ranch me up, bro, Tendo. <laughs>
You know, I don't have, I can't go that high. <laughs> all day long and somehow I get paid for some of it. <laughs> you could just like do that on anything. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. All right. I just want to shred over all of this because it's all fun. I've never done it before, so other than while writing it. <laughs> Man, I gotta warm up before I do these things. This one's already got guitar. I'm terrible in E in E major. Hmm. Because I want to test out what I can guitarify. Because I'm definitely going to do this. This is my signature sound now is guitar and synth. So I'm going to program a patch that's somewhat like this. Let's use a massive and put it in the lead category. Sorry, I'm just doing this as quick as I can, too. I'll explain what I'm doing later in future episodes. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm ricking out on you for a second. All right, so now forget preset. File a new sound. All right, let's go. Get that. Let's go. PWM. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, pulse. Pulse with like. And we'll like C64 real quick. Check this out. Yeah. No, too much phasing. Uh, too much pulse with modulation. So it's 0% or 100% pulse. 
Because sometimes you need that for science reasons, whatever. What is this? Anyway, these do both now. Now I sound like like some crazy like like the animal cannonish hybrid, so now we can duel together and touch our music guitars together. <laughs> yeah, you liked that, didn't you? You thought I was going somewhere based on my previous streaming conduct. No, it's just one I was playing the square wave like a guitar, whoops. directions right now to my square wave I can play along with that literally all day, but that square wave sound, I'm going to maybe make it a little, little less, a little thinner sounding. Still need to do something to this to make it a little bit less. Ah, envelope. Oh, it can't be. It can't be monophonic. Hang on. It has to be stereophonic. I mean, uh, it's pff, uh polyphonic. Not stereophonic, that would be two channels.
Even the silly sounding ones end up being kind of fun. I'm not actually seriously theorizing that I will record guitar over every one of these cues, guys. Come on. I'm just having fun. Not that anyone said that, but maybe everyone's like, no, do it. Do it for real. No, that's not the DX version. Isn't just, isn't just, uh, I'm trying to, there's no, you can't, I was going to D, DX doesn't stand for, nope. Dirty xylophone? No, I mean, there's no X thing that I could come up with. Dimebag Xavier doesn't work. <sighs> Alright, I mean, it kind of does, knowing the Xaviers that I know. No, I can do that one better. Let me do that better on these tremolo. I knew I I got caught up in the chords. Hang on. <laughs>
You always gotta do that up to the end there just to be like, yeah. Wait, I gotta do it right. Oh man, I gotta get my thumb to work right. Ah, uh, I gotta. I used to be able to do the proper with one single twelve step of bend. I don't have enough uh, 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 range and. Problem in the pitch frequency bend response. That's if it's halfway bent, it should be halfway bent. Oh, I know why. Maybe still, but they're both native instruments, pitch benders. It, the, it just simply wasn't set to go down an octave. Hey, that's going down 12. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's only going down a major six. Nope. Oh, sorry. Eight, eight, eight. Semitone. It's it's about in the same position at the same point physically. So if I push it down, sorry, this sounds ridiculous right now, but I'm proving if I push this stick down halfway, they'll be the same pitch. Sorry, I'm, I know TMAD's going nuts here, but I'm trying to find true pitches with all of these. <laughs> okay, that works. The stupid fret noises, come on. It sounds like you're doing something wrong in Guitar Hero. What? <laughs> I'm going to take the volume of these down a bit. Mm. Noise. See, that's none. It doesn't sound really good. But that's too much, so we're going to take it halfway. I just made like Hamilton lyrics in like pitch bend over this cue and then it's going to like go into like we will never give up you know like in the chorus like the big ensemble thing like man that's impossible you know <laughs> we'll never rise up before unless we're responsible you know just like to Yeah, this is when I start going into weird uncharted territory here. <laughs> what do you do? I write music. What? <laughs> what kind? Uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. 
All right, no more of this. That sounds like when you're when you press start and like um like Far Cry Primal is like You hear that It's not a guitar though, it's like a mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a nugget if he doesn't get his breakfast in time. I'm not sure if it's his tummy or his impatience growling.
yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling good about all the tracks in this. We're going to be able to polish. I Honestly, there's not much to do to this track compositionally because it's already so full. There's really not that much I want to add to it. I don't think it deserves that, but I think it deserves live instruments. And we have all the stems. Check it out. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. I sound like I'm on a kid's TV show, which, hey, ha, I am, but I'm not the kid going, look what I can do. Oh, wait. Ha. All right. I have all of the stems. So. I can be like, all right, what's the one that I want to? I hate playing in C-sharp, like, a lot. So we need to, somebody to come in and f fix that up. So what's that going to be? I'm going to guess the name of it. Robbie named all these. Uh, Fitness Dojo is my guess. Mixing stems. Make it so. <laughs> Mix it so. Mm. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, it's in a MIDI track, so it's like, where do what? I should put this? Different track. Oh, there, whoa, whoop, there we go. Hey, everyone. We're audio track. We're in a folder now. Oh, whoops, I'm supposed to put all tracks in, and it just puts it somewhere in the middle of the folders. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's probably some internal counter that's, like, just arbitrary. It's like, what? Well, whatever, put it on, like, seven of nine. <laughs> Get it, guys? <laughs> Engineering Steinberg team. All right, check it out. That's not it. All right, cool. Let's make this louder. Nice, 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 nice. We can do real sax in that for sure. If we can get somebody in or somebody interested. Or both. Or neither. Or whatever. I'm going to go take a break for a minute, guys. I need to walk outside for a minute because my head's going to explode from all this coolness. I'm so happy to be streaming again. Arr, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. It doesn't matter how many people are here. Every one of y'all is with me in this weird and wonderful journey. Because I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know if it's going to be good, bad, ugly. All three, none of the above, whatever. Um, but it's going to be interesting to experience what it becomes, whatever it is. And if you go into it feeling like that, in my experience, you come out with something at least that makes you laugh and smile, whether it's at yourself or with yourself. And both are okay sometimes. That, that moment of the patronizing vert dad hour was brought to you by Diet Coke share a coke with nobody because it's not one of those custom labels we diet types aren't cool enough to share a coke with jeremy or carla <laughs> share a choke share a share a coke with like and it's like it's like bob and but it's big it's you know the more letters you have it's like if it's evangeline it's like a tiny little evangeline on there in cursive I wonder if they're racist against small names or like complicated names accidentally. Like, they, what if it's like a 
like Thai names or something or Laotian names. You know, they can tend to be many English letters would transliterated. And even Japanese names could be small enough to render the font. You know, what if it's a Japanese English couple that uses a dual name, like it's Takahara Smith or something like that. And they couldn't fit it like Jerry Cook with, you know, Billy Bob Joe or something like that is equally valid. Right? Yeah, Vietnamese name would be potentially similarly fraught with, you know, uh, orthographic problems in the Diet Coke font. I wonder if there's a Unicode. Of course there is. It's Coca-Cola Corporation. They have, like, they have like Chinese characters in Coca-Cola font, I'm certain. Uh, or if not, you go to dafont.cn or whatever, and you probably find a million of those. <laughs> this moment of pointless banter has been brought to you by Diet Coke. I hate Diet Coke. I'm drinking this because they had no Diet Pepsi today. I just counted myself out of scoring like the Diet Coke Coke em up 2018 viral marketing. I don't hate Diet Coke. I just prefer Diet Pepsi because I'm acclimated to it through many years of being a jerkwad and not drinking water. The Liberty Endorsement. <laughs> That's like that one with Philip Glass in PV. Have, have any of you seen that GIF or JIF, as I prefer to say, but GIF gets me in less political trouble? Um, for some reason, most people say GIF. I say I prefer... Anyway, have you seen the one with Philip Glass where he's like, PV, it's crap. And it just... He's like, just kind of like, I would never use this stuff ever in my studio. And it's just him like... Like Ken Burns panning out of his face. He's disapproving, and it shows like an amplifier. PV, it's crap. <laughs> For those not in the know, it's a brand of musical equipment manufacturing, and they're known for their excellent quality for very, very inexpensive equipment. So I may make jokes against some certain manufacturers, but hell, I would do a PV endorsement. I played one of their bases for five years, and it was a solid bass. Go PV. My dad used one of their amps for a while. You get by with what you got. PV solid stuff for the working person. I feel that way about Behringer equipment. The cheap mixers for like $40 in Guitar Center. It's like, what is, why, it's, uh, it's so awful. But if you got that in a backpack and you just got your iPod or whatever, oh yeah, I got a mixer. Everyone's like, ooh, a mixer. Everything's relative to how much you know and how elitist you are about stuff. It's like, shut up, Jake, let's listen to music. All right, so we have this thing and we're going to take the, Oh, the only thing in the orchestra track, I'm hoping. Nope. No, I want to solo it. Han. Han Solo. It's got strings. Whatever, I can chop it up. Oh my god, the strings stop right where the saxophone starts, so I can just go... <laughs> I cut everything. Cut your steak, Roger. I mean, it's not bad for a fake sax line, but it's still a fake sax line. So you could never breathe fast enough to do that. I mean, you could, but there's no breath sound in there, so it doesn't sound as real. That's too, it's like when you're like, end of one line, beginning of the next line in the song, and it's like, you know, it's obviously cut, because no person can begin, a, it's not phrased believably. It's, this is, it's difficult to explain, because it's just one of those things I hear, and I'm like, nah. Like, I would have fixed that if I wasn't in such a rush. And now I get a chance to, like, yo, bonus. It's not even that bad. It just feels this whole. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's like too many discrete notes here. No, what is that? I didn't even get the turnaround correct. That's no one would play it like that. Ah. <laughs> That's a believable alt, uh, soprano sax, maybe, but. All right, that's where it gets good, not going to lie. That's, I'm going to keep that and layer the real sax over that, because... 
That's why I gotta write in an ensemble, because as soon as you solo the instruments, they sound a little janky and like, is that real or not? Oh, it's not real. I can tell from the pixels. And then, but if you have them in an ensemble, it's like, well, huh. Well then, I see you know what you're doing with jazz arrangement. Perhaps you'll come around to my bodega and share a few of your tricks with me. Like, I don't know any tricks. I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. Play with the children. We have a hose. Hose them down. Pleases me. No, we're not. It's. I, I, I have. It's bad enough that I saw Patrick Stewart in emoji. I didn't actually watch the movie, but. I, I know it exists, and that it's making my palms itch. <laughs> Literally thinking about. Please, Sir Patrick Stewart, I don't. I believe you will never ever become one of the bad guys that we can't like anymore. But please don't. Please stay true as you always are, as the most bad butt. I see. I can't say the a word. It's a bad butt. Um, mother and father admirer on planet Earth or beyond. And don't hurt anyone. You never would, but come on. You know what I mean. He would get it. He would be like, oh, perish the thought. I'm a dirty old man and everyone knows it. That's why I talk to other dirty old men. And women. And older children. Once they're old enough to vote. Ha ha ha. But not in that way, you see. Ah. Ah, see that there was a this is an awkward phrasing uh voicing here. I mean it works under everything else. Well <laughs> not everything else. Everything in here. Yeah, it works totally fine because it, it this frames um I would say probably in A flat. Let's figure out what this is. Jeez. It's a sixth in um A flat six. But it's it's in an it's not a second inversion. It's an inversion of it. Um it doesn't have the root, which is supposed to be this. Uh, where's my piano? Where's my snare? I can't hear my snare. There's no snare on my headphone. I'm sorry, QBs. I never meant to crash you. Piano. Let's bring our roads up front. I like playing road. It pleases me. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what the chord is supposed to be. So that's framed by these two. So it's an okay sax line. <laughs> Take 72, you said something that pings my, my I agree with you in principle radar. Good composition overrides poor sample quality. Totally true, but to a degree. My stuff sounds MIDI and OKKO. OK it sounds fake intentionally, but I can't really make it sound that realistic. So I'm not going to fool anyone in, into thinking it's not samples. So the, they sound great for samples because I'm trying to compose well with them, but I want to, I'm doing fake real instruments here, like a fake real saxophone. So I wanted to have that super real sound. And even with the best samples in the world, which I believe are currently the ones that I have as far as expression and believability and all that stuff, it's still a far cry from the real thing. So, I mean, of course, yes, yes, of course it is. But, but 
that's a big deal to me because I want to evolve OKKO OK towards being this super live extravaganza. And the samples in there are cool, but it lends it a, a somewhat intentionally fake kind of cheesy sound to the show, which is good, but unavoidable. So if I want to get real, I can't get much realer than this and have any other kind of sound but the fakey kind of sound, unless, unless I enlist the help of my beautiful and talented army of live musicians all over the world, including here in LA. People come down to the studio, put stuff in a Dropbox, we can collaborate with amazing musicians everywhere and just make a DX version of all these tracks. Just make it just that bit better. The live instruments, the polish, the robification. The robification of these tracks is going to be miraculous. Once he gets time to sit down with them and really like, put Brian on the drums on, on something. If you guys have, are just tuning in to, to me for the first time as, as your Mint Potion debut, please watch our shows throughout the rest of the week um, because we have the most amazing stuff. We have Brian Dog Boy who comes in and he does drumming technique lesson shows where he rants but less than me and also shreds on the drums. I mean, he's the, the shreddy shred McShredder kind of drummer, but he's super solid. I mean, he, he teaches lessons to other teachers, kind of solid. Um, but he's a beast. He's a ridiculous beast. And he's going to play on this as well as all of our other stuff. I'm gonna, I feel like playing keyboard drums right now. The spirit has taken over. I've got to see what my latency is set to so that I can shred with maximum efficiency. <laughs> I'm having a good time, guys. I hope you are too. I'm in the wrong menu. So I am. So yeah, it really doesn't, it shouldn't hold you back from writing music if you got cheap samples and they're not the greatest. Like, that shouldn't matter. Good composition will indeed override bad sample quality. But there's, there's the asterisk at the end, and the asterisk is if you're doing it for fun. If you're doing it for, to get paid to make realistic sounding stuff, like, you really should like master the use of the fake stuff and then have real players play it. If you, if you, if you can trick them into doing so, speaking of which I do, but I want to load this drum kit first. No, I don't. I should take. All right. Well, let me play drums. Let me, what's up? No, no, no. Well, let me load up the drum kit and play a couple notes and then, and then I'll be like, come back for this more of this later. Cause some people might not know about, Jeff Bridges don't know about my drum shredding. <laughs> ah! You like what I did there, everyone? I'm going to put this back in my crotch for safekeeping. Sorry, in my Barty crouch. <laughs> That's no better, Jake. Come on. Barty crouch. All right, let's go. Couch, 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 metal drums. Oh, no, this is Superior Drummer. Forget that noise. I'm playing with... Impact Soundworks shredded drums. I'm not even trying to mess around with my drum sounds. That's the best metal drums you're ever going to find anywhere. Impact Soundworks does the best sample libraries of their genres. Whatever they do is the best one you can buy. Ah, that's my firm belief. Because they are as nitpicky as me about samples because they grew up in my same scene. Not just because we're friends. They're the guys I trust to do sample libraries and get all of the articulations right. If they screw up on one thing, like, they fix it, they cure it, and they're like, oh, that thing, it shipped, let's fix it. They're the best sample libraries around. Impact Soundwork, not a paid endorsement. I've done their demos and stuff, but only because I love using the samples. All right, so let's use uh, Contact and load up. I haven't even installed Shreddage Bass yet because I got a, a bass, but I won't always. So Shreddage Drums. I love shredded drums. All right, here we go. Here we go, yeah. <laughs> Whoops, I just burped all up in my mic. <laughs> I ricked out beatboxing. Where is indeed where? Oh, solo. Solo. Oh, oh. Put me up on the screen, on main screen. Mm. 
No, I'm still doing Metal Foundry. I didn't want this one. I wanted the one under it. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. All right, cool. I like keyboard drums a lot. Ah, oh, everything is playing at once. a break i feel charged i love you my friends i'll be right back as soon as i get some fresh air and exercise and love i will see you shortly peace mm.